Hello everyone, my name is Janusz Tefull, also known as Rising Fury, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to Orbiter Battle Simulation Project, or OBSP for short. The project was started uh, a little over a year ago by Escape Tom's Fate, and a year ago I joined the project. Uh, the project is basically aimed at recreating uh, combat in Orbiter. Uh, OBSP draws its inspiration from other combat games like James, uh, James USAF, Crimson Skies and Ace Combat. Uh, ultimately the goal of OBSP is to bring uh, space and even interplanetary combat, so we'll have to be the pioneer, uh, pioneers in this area. In this first release uh, we basically focus on ground and aerial combat. Uh, we've just created a basic uh, a foundation from which we can now build. Uh, this release includes a simple vessel-to-vessel -vessel collision by basically just detecting when one vessel is within another vessel's radius. Ground impact damage, uh, so every vessel can take a certain amount of damage before being destroyed. Uh, a few weapons created by T Neo. There's a, a dedicated video on that. In, uh, one of the uh, one of the weapons included is a Mark 84 bomb, which you'll see later. Uh, you'll also see a little bit of UMMU combat, but this is at a very low stage of development. Right now, you're uh, looking at the autopilot flying uh, a bunch of waypoints around Cape Canaveral. That's also one of the features in this release. Uh, you can control the uh, AI, uh, the autopilot through uh, through a scenario or a LU uh, LUA script. Also this release features a combat version of the Delta Glider and the notifications you see above in, in red. They're basically going to be used to uh, keep the player uh, aware of uh, certain events uh, in, uh, in the game. Uh, so bombing targets. This video shows uh, two bombing runs uh, from a combat delta glider, which is just a simple modification. To the right, you see uh, that currently the vessel sustains zero damage and is loaded with three Mark 84 bombs. And this is me coming in for uh, for the first bombing run. Currently, uh, there is no uh, way to to figure out where the bombs are gonna land, so you have to do this from your gut. Uh, however, the next release is gonna feature that. Uh, now, as you can see, the bomb is away, and look, and the shuttle A has just disappeared. Uh, in case you didn't see that, uh, here's another bombing run, this time aimed at a delta glider. Uh, I did intend to drop the bomb between the delta gliders, but flying the vessel at low frame rate while recording uh, was a bit tough, so I managed to only hit one. The bomb's away. and the delta glider is destroyed. Now, as you can see there are no explosions yet. That's also something we're gonna uh, bring in in the next release. Uh, also uh, featured are collisions and ground damage. Uh, basically collisions as I said before are done by just detecting when one vessel is inside the other's vessel uh, vessels radius uh, there is transfer of linear momentum with some loss of energy but no transfer of angular momentum uh, now as, you, uh, as you're about to see when one vessel slams into another it's gonna transfer its momentum to the other and uh, as uh, as well as transferring momentum, both vessels sustained damage, and one of the vessels was actually destroyed in the impact. 
And as you can see to the right, the damage indicator now says 97%. Uh, uh, Any time that a vessel is destroyed, Orbiter automatically switches focus to another vessel. But in case there is no other vessel in the scenario, Orbiter just shuts down and goes back to the launch pad. Now here's a bit of fun uh, with bumping one Delta Glider into a bunch of others. Now, as you can see, the last Delta Glider is pushing all others. Uh, what I'm about to demonstrate now is ground collisions. At the right, the indicator, the damage indicator, currently says 11 percent. And now that the uh, vessel has hit the ground, it's at 88 percent. Also, if the impact is greater than 30 meters in vertical velocity, the vessel will be destroyed. Uh, currently, the uh, ground damage model is a bit incomplete. It doesn't take into account uh, any ground velocity, but we will fix that for the next version. And here's another uh, collision demonstration between a flying vessel and a stationary vessel. And as you can see, three vessels were destroyed. Now here's a quick rundown of uh, UMMU combat. As I said, this is particularly undeveloped as of now. Uh, you can load a weapon into your... Uh, actually, you load a round into your weapon by pressing A and firing the weapon by pressing space. As you can see, I just fired... a. Uh, an anti-aircraft into another UMMU and killed it. Last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Project Leader Escape Tom's Fate and 3D Designer T-Neo.